Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I work with Lori at Gray Ag Services and we're so glad to have you join us for Graver's Farmers Week 2024. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our new Zoom events platform, which we're using to live stream Graver's Farmers Week this year. This platform is also where you'll watch the Encore Access, which are the recordings of the live presentations from Elmwood and the on-demand videos. There's 30 of those and they're available for all of the days. So tons and tons of content and you find it all here. So to start with, um, if you've registered online and purchased your ticket, you'll receive an email into your inbox. Uh, you'll also receive an email for anybody who registers at the event in person and gives us their email address, you'll get an email as well, but it'll be a little bit delayed because we'll have to finish up the day of the event in person and go home that night and uh, load everybody into the registration platform. One way or another, it starts in your inbox. So go there and take a look through until you find this email or one similar. It is targeted to the day that you attended and it will have a join link. So that's that black button down here that you see. I'm gonna click on that and it'll open up a new uh, web browser window and it'll take me right into the live streaming platform, the conference platform. So we'll just let this load for a second. There we go. Now, as you can see, I was looking at Beef Day. Here I am on the Beef Day platform. Um, this here page that I am looking at is the event lobby. So looking up to this green bar along the top, we've got some menu items. We've got lobby, presentations, agenda, speakers, and people. I'm going to walk you through each of those. Um, to begin with, for all of the live streamers out there, this picture on the top left where it says beef day will end up being a video player when the live presentations are happening in Elmwood. So if you are most comfortable with just clicking that join link from your email, coming to this page and staying here, that is totally good. You can do that. You can watch the videos right from here. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so that you can see the rest of what is located in our lobby. Um, we've got a quick overview of some of the speakers that are happening. There are more and you can check out more than what is just listed on the page here. It also shows me what the featured presentation for the day is. So this is our keynote presentation. On beef day, Mark Gerber is talking about supplementing cows and increasing calf weaning weights. Um, so I could click on that presentation and I could go find out more information about that one as well. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to scroll back up. Our next menu item is presentations. I also, just of note, could access the presentations right from the lobby, which is here with this Explore Presentations button. So carrying on with our menu though, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna click on Presentations. And it's going to take me to a great big long list of all of the presentations that are available for you to watch with your Beef Day ticket purchase. So right off the bat, we've got those 30 pre-recorded on-demand presentations. They are on all sorts of subjects. You can um, take a look around and find things that maybe aren't even in your field of agriculture, but could still be related or of interest to you, um, or just explore something totally new. So all of those on-demand presentations kick off at 9 o'clock a.m. on the day that you are attending. And so they are listed first on our list. And like I said, there's 30 of them. There are lots. So I hope that you scroll down and take a look through them all and um, take a watch of some of them and enjoy that content. Once I've moved my way down past those on-demand presentations, I get to the uh, main agenda for the day. So these presentations starting here at 9.45 on Beef Day are the live presentations that happen in Elmwood. Now, I totally think the best way to watch them, of course, is live while the speaker is presenting because that way you can ask your questions and we can pose them to the presenter for you and you can get your answers. Um, if you happen to log in a little bit late, no worries. Even though these are the live ones, recordings will be taken of their presentation and they'll be available right after the presentation ends. So keep that in mind. Um, so all of these presentations listed here I could get more information about them by clicking on the title. 
and it'll take me to a little info screen for them. Here we are. So it tells me the name, when they start and run through, who the presenter is, and I could click on her name and get more information about her and her background as well, and then a little bit of a description for that presentation. Now something, I'm going to head back to the presentations list using my menu item at the top there. Perfect. And then I'm going to come back to this great big long list of presentations. And I want you to notice over here that there's a little um, bookmark symbol. So if I click on that, it becomes yellow. And maybe I can just pick out a couple of on demands that I'm interested in here. And then I'm going to scroll down. My featured presentation is bookmarked. And I want to know about these presentations that are live as well. All right, so I've selected them as being special interest to me. The next menu item that we can move over to is our agenda right here. Now, the presentations list is great because it tells you everything that's going on and available and you can scroll through that, but it is a very long list and maybe there's some that you definitely want to keep an eye on and make sure that you catch or make sure that you come back to. So when I bookmarked those presentations, they were then added to my personal agenda. And now I can look through and see what times they're happening at and uh, what's coming up next that I really wanted to see. And then again, if I click on that item, it'll open it up and I can uh, view more details and go right back through to that presentation. So lots of ways to find out the presentation. Uh, through the agenda, you can find the ones that you're most interested in here. Um, and then again, don't forget that if you're in the lobby, you will always see what is happening live. So definitely make use of that. Uh, our fourth agenda item here is speakers. That's just in case you'd like to get a little bit more information on who all is presenting on the day. And you can uh, click on a speaker and you can check out their personal bio and their background, where they work, who they work for, all that stuff. All right, moving on one more time over to our people option on our menu. So this is the networking portion of the event. Currently, I'm the only uh, participant logged into the platform, but on the day of when we've got lots of live streamers on here, you'll see more profiles starting to pop up. And in that case, you can click on that um, person's profile and reach out, wave, tell them hi, uh, start a chat, so long as they are, are willing to interact with you. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm back in the presentation or in our platform lobby, sorry, and I just want to show you a couple more quick things. So on the right hand side of the lobby is our lobby chat. That's another networking area where you can chat back and forth with anyone else who happens to be on the platform. Um, one thing to note is that it won't pose questions to the presenter. So that is a chat area for participants, but the presenter in their presentation won't actually see all of those messages. If you wanna ask questions of the presenter, rather than watching from the lobby, you're going to have to go into the presentation session. So I'm gonna just show you quickly a little bit about that. Let's look at our featured presentation down here. On the day of, it's gonna have a little join button uh, off to the right here, and you can click on that and you can use it to join the session. Now I've set up a little demo uh, event so that I can show you a little bit more about that. So when I scroll down in my lobby to the bottom, I can see that I've got presentations that are in progress and starting soon. This farm transition presentation has a red now indicator on the picture on the bottom left here. That's showing that the the session is in progress. I can also see over here, I've got my join button, so I can click that to go into the presentation. And then I will see that there's a Q&A button instead of chat. And with that Q&A button, I can um, go ahead and ask questions of the presenter. So that is how I would ask my questions. Here's a couple of other sessions that have already run in our little test event here. And you can see that they are in the past. This one happened on Wednesday. Um, 
I missed it. Clearly, it's Friday now, uh, but there is a recording to watch. So those recordings will um, become available automatically as soon as the session is over, and you can click watch recording, and it will take you into the presentation itself. Now, um, there is no presentation playing right here. I have to hit play for it to get started. And then um, once it does, clearly my presentation is loading, but I can play and pause. I can navigate through the presentation further forward or backwards um, with my progress bar. There we go. And I can adjust my volume using the volume symbol down here and the toggle to go louder or quieter. And then one last thing, if this uh, screen size isn't large enough for you, down in the right bottom right hand corner, I can hit the full screen button, which is this little square icon, and it will bring the video screen up to completely full screen. Again, in the bottom right hand corner, I can also exit full screen using that same little icon. And then if I want to leave the presentation window altogether, I can either hit the X in the top right corner or I can hit close in the bottom right corner and both will do the same thing. So um, for anybody who has any questions in the end, you're more than welcome to call us at the office or email us. Our email address is info at grayagservices.ca and our phone number at the office is 519-986-3756. Lori and I are going to be super busy during the week while everything is happening live in Elmwood, but we will do our very, very best to get back to you as quickly as we possibly can. And uh, we really, really hope that you enjoy the event and get lots out of it and... Uh, we will see you there.